Hello everybody, it's Minister Lou. We are going to do a psalm this evening. We are on psalm number 27 out of 150. <laughs> so we are going to be doing this one of these for a little while. Praise the Lord. Let's start, shall we? A psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. So he's saying with the Lord, there's nothing that anyone could do to make him fear. There's not a person on this earth that he will fear because the Lord is with him. The Lord strengthens him. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither for my sake, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That is true. Because the Lord will do whatever he wants, when he wants, on his own time. Whether it be for you or against you. If you're continuously praying for something, and you don't think you're getting it fast enough, always take into consideration it will not be on your time. It will be when the Lord feels that it's right. Because that is how he works. He might want to build you up. He might want to tear, have you tore down a little bit. In order to build you up. You might want to take things out of your life first. For you to be able to receive new. He is just an awesome God that way. It's not about us. It is about him. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate the time we get to spend together. Reading the Lord's word. The kingdom of heaven is at hand everybody. The time has come to repent of our sins. The time has come to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. The time has come to know who Jesus Christ is and to know who our Heavenly Father is. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.